I've got three reasons why Fujifilm X Pro 4 will kill Leica M for me. Definitely this time. Let's talk about this now. Hi there and welcome to my channel. My name is Tudor Matescu and I like to talk about photography tips and tricks and photography gear. So if you are liking content like this, please subscribe now, now, now to my channel. Help me grow because I have lots of things to say that you don't find on other YouTube channels. So let's talk why Fujifilm X Pro 4, why Fujifilm X Pro 4 will kill my itch definitely for a Leica M system. Let's talk about the first reason. The first reason is Fujifilm X-T5 and it's not a camera. It's about the sensor of the camera, the sensor of X-T5 and also the sensor of Fujifilm X-H2. And having the chance to use Fujifilm X-T5 and Sony A7RC side by side, I must admit and confess that the image quality that I'm getting from X-T5 is very, very close to Sony A7RC regarding gradation, details, colors, colors. And Fujifilm colors are better than Sony colors. This is it. The Fujifilm white balance and colors and film simulations are bringing to the table a very, very good color in your photography. So, the image quality from all these cameras is wind by Fujifilm X-T5 40 megapixels sensor. In a previous video where I said what I want from Fujifilm X Pro 4, I said without having X-T5 that I want the 40 megapixel sensor and I guess Fujifilm will go with the 40 megapixel sensor. And now, experience directly Fujifilm X-T5 with this 40 megapixel sensor. If Fujifilm will not put the 40 megapixel sensor in X-T5, they will lose the chance, they will lose the chance to kill Leica for me, for me, if you are asking me. Why? Again, the image quality from this APS-C sensor is very, very close to a full frame sensor. If you are asking me, in my opinion, the image quality is better, it's better because I don't know, the white balance, the colors of a Fujifilm camera, the lenses of a Fujifilm camera, the 35 meters f1.4 magic lens and so on are bringing to the table a special image quality, a special image quality that you will not be able to find it in any other system. Why I'm saying that? In my X-Pro3 videos, how to get image quality like on full frame, I said use cobalt profiles to get the black and white tones of a Leica camera, of a Leica camera. Use cobalt profiles and those cobalt profiles were able to bring the image quality and the tones and the gradation of a full frame Leica camera in your Fujifilm X-Pro3 camera. But now, if Fujifilm will put the 40 megapixel sensor in Fujifilm X Pro 4, the quality again is as close to as a full frame sensor, as close to as a full frame sensor. So in this case, in the case of an APS-C sensor, the 40 megapixels really helped and probably some other technology, the processor and all the technology that enters in this APS-C sensor. But yes, the APS-C sensor is as close to as a full frame camera or better, again, better. Regarding noise, I took two pictures side by side at ISO 6400 and again, I liked more the image quality regarding noise details from X-T5 with 18mm f1.4. I will do a proper video comparing full frame versus APS-C in my future video, so this is why, again, subscribe. Now there are other two points regarding image quality where you could say that uh, a Leica 
camera will win. The next is depth of field. Depth of field depends, depends on the focal length also. So yes, with a 35 meters lens, you will get a 50 millimeters equivalent field of view in full frame terms, but you will not get that battery smooth bokeh of a full frame camera with a 50 millimeters f1.4 lens. So what will do about this problem? Well, in real world use, in real world use, in my opinion, this depth of field, it is the sweetest spot. You don't need more depth of field. You don't need more depth of field. And if you do, there are lenses, f1.2 lenses and so on. But again, for me, for me, for myself, the depth of field on Fujifilm X Pro 3 is the sweetest spot. The APS-C depth of field is the sweetest, sweetest spot for portraits, for documentary work, and so on and so on. If I want more blurriness, I don't know. I can use a full frame camera or I can use Photoshop, but this is not the idea. You don't buy a camera for depth of field, but if you want a camera for depth of field, yes, the best battery smooth depth of field will be on a full frame camera. But for my long experience, the sweeter spot is on a Fujifilm APS-C camera. Now, the second problem of image quality is the fact that you need sharpness and sharpness depends on the lenses, depends on the lenses and also of the light. You must know to use the light. And now we are getting to the second big key point, the lenses, the lenses, because to compete with a Leica M system, you need lenses. But for users that are accustomed to use AF lenses, why not use the magical AF lenses from a Fujifilm camera? So this is where Fujifilm is winning. You have magical AF lenses, not clinical sharp as on a Sony full frame camera. You have lenses that are bringing that glowy look, that natural look to your photography. But also you have clinical sharp lenses on the Fujifilm system, the 80mm f1.4, the 36mm f1.4, the 56mm f1.2, and Viltrox 75mm f1.2 lens. So regarding AF lenses, come on, come on, Fujifilm system is a killer. But if you want manual focusing lenses, then this is where Fujifilm finally starts to win. Yes, it's a little behind Leica M system, of course, of course, but we have the Voigtlander lenses, two crucial lenses, the 26 mm f1.2 and the 35 mm f1.2 lens, accessible lenses with the Voigtlander signature glass, with the Voigtlander signature glass, with contacts, with contacts. So you'll have the exact frame lines, the exact frame lines on your camera. The exact frame lines on your Fujifilm X Pro 3 camera are bothering some people because when you are changing the manual focusing of your lens, the frame lines will move, of course, because the viewfinder is correcting for the parallax effect, because you don't have the viewfinder in the middle of your camera. But if you don't want this correction, you can use TT Artisan lenses, 7 Artisan lenses or adapted lenses with an adapter or Leica lenses and so on. So regarding the lenses that will bring that special look to your file, on again XT5 sensor, on XT5 sensor you will get something unique, unique. So image quality as full frame, lenses as full frame, glowiness as Leica and so on. And now we are getting to the last point, Fujifilm X Pro 4 with the AF lenses or with the manual focusing lenses is portable and small as a Leica M camera, as a Leica M camera. So I want it again when I bought Fujifilm X Pro 3, a Leica MD camera, because I wanted to do that kind of photography through the optical viewfinder, that kind of photography that helped me do fine arts photography, abstract photography and so on. So before buying the Leica MD, I said, why not try Fujifilm X Pro 3? And Fujifilm X Pro 3 delivered deliver on all the situations, on all the situations. But regarding portraits, I felt that APS-C look. I felt that APS-C look. It was good, it was good on small screens, on bigger screens, so on, in printing, in printing of course, but not 
at the level of a full frame camera. So, XT5, XH2 are coming with the 40 megapixel new sensor and with the new technology that is bringing from this APS-C sensor full frame quality or again, for me, for my taste, I feel again is better, is something unique. You really need to try it to understand it. So you really need to try this XT5 sensor on XH2 or probably, and I hope on X Pro 4. So in conclusion, this is why I think Fujifilm X Pro 4 will kill the Leica M Scratch for many, many users. Because if you will be able to experience the X-T5 sensor and the X-T5 image quality, XH2 image quality, you will understand very well what I'm saying here. You will understand very well what I'm saying here. If you will have the chance to put the 35 meters f1.4 on this sensor, you will understand it again. If you have the chance to put vintage lenses, and I can't wait to test some TT Artisan lenses and some vintage lenses on XT5, what you will get? Amazing, amazing image quality, amazing, amazing, and again, amazing. What you will miss? Of course, the rangefinder experience with manual focusing a lens with a patch, with a patch. But regarding all other stuff, you will gain image quality AF lenses if you want to use AF lenses, lenses with contacts like Voigtlander lenses and all the lenses that you want and you will gain portability and of course a very very good price compared with a Leica M system. So this is my take on Fujifilm X Pro 4 versus a Leica M system and I can't wait Fujifilm X Pro 4 to come because yes now I realized, I really realized why I need I need to buy Fujifilm X Pro 4. Yes, it will be a game changer. And this is why I decided to make this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe now, now, now to my channel because I'll post more content about Fujifilm X Pro 4, XT5, Fujifilm versus full frame cameras and so on. Thank you and I will talk to you soon. Bye bye.